Hello, MW2 gaming community, or MW2 Evolution gaming community. I'm freaking Fitz, and I play on Xbox. Um, favorite guns for here is the Scar H, which you will see me using during this game. I start off trying to get a kill off the beginning with the Barrett, but uh, I get one. Not so good. Anyway, I mainly stick to the assault rifles, and this game super fast mode at the beginning because um, I die a few times in stupid ways, which I didn't appreciate, and I didn't appreciate watching it, and I figured you guys wouldn't want to watch me die a few times. So, anyway, I switched over to the Scar H, and now I'm trying to get it down towards their spawn, hoping my team will capture B, which uh, my team does not, but it's okay. Um, in this game, probably my favorite gun is the Scar H. I love this gun. You can put silencer on it and still three hits to kill. And I uh, definitely always use stopping power, personally. Hardline or any of them. I never get, like, enough kills or I run out of ammo on a person. It just pisses me off, so... It's not worth it in my mind. I can get the extra kill. It's not... Hardline's not all that spectacular. And you see, that guy stunned me and then had to run in. He's got painkiller on and stuff, so that pissed me off. And you'll see, I die in a few stupid ways on this one. Like, I just run into a few guys, and it's just like, I don't know. I felt that I should have gotten them, and I just wasn't paying attention enough, or they gamed and they kind of screwed me over in some cases, but it's okay. So, yeah. Um, I'm a senior in high school right now, so I'm working towards going to college, and that should happen. I already gotten into a few colleges. Um, right now you're seeing the spawns are switching, so I'm thinking I'm going to catch a, capture A, make sure the spawns get really screwed up on these kids so they can get out of our spawn and we can uh, work towards spawn capture, spawn camping them. Um, like that's one of the best tactics on high rise, and I'm sure pretty much everyone of you know. Is take out the assault rifle, push them back into their spawn, and never go inside the enemy's building. Just sit there, make them come to the entrances, and you can just mow them down as they walk out. And here, this part's actually pretty funny, this is where it slows down. Um, these kids just seem to ignore the fact that I'm there for a good few minutes. There's like, you'll see like four of them come up around me. There's that guy, I'm killing him. Running out of ammo, I'm like, oh crap, there's a whole bunch of them around me. They're just gonna run away from me though. Could have sat there and reloaded my scar. Now there's a kid down here apparently. I run into where my teammates are to get away from him. And that's always the best tactic. If you're getting shot at, run towards your teammates, because if they see the person shooting at your ass, they'll be able to knock them down, and you'll be able to rack up another kill streak. And that's the other thing I do when I get shot at, I lay down, because it's pretty much drop shotting, but I just lay down whenever I get shot at, because it confuses the hell out of people, and they don't know where you're supposed to, where you're going. And right here, this is a fail Predator missile. Should have gotten you straight to my Harriers, which my kill streaks are Predator, Harrier, and Emergency Airdrop. These are my favorite kill streaks because the Predator can usually get you to the Harriers. It should have there. I just put it on the wrong side of that stupid block, not realizing it was there. And um, then the Harrier can get you to your E drop. Which the E drop is very powerful. Usually, you can get at least one good kill streak out of it. No, not usually spectacular. I mean, I've gotten completely spectacular kill streaks off of it. I actually did in my first ever commentary on my own channel. I got two AC 130s off of one uh, E drop, which that was just sick because it just last lasted me the rest of the game. Just sat there, with the AC 130s up. Um. Anyway, the gameplay style I use is I'm kind of a patroller, I guess is what it's called. That's what I've heard other commentators you call it, and it's the, probably the best method to rack up kill streaks. You don't sit there and camp in a little corner. I get knifed in the back. That pisses me off. I hate getting knifed in the back when I think my teammates are watching that area, but you know it happens. Um, so yeah, the best method to rack up kill streaks is patrolling, and patrolling pretty much is you watch all your surroundings, which I should have been watching my back there, but I was not. I was too focused on this doorway up here racking up kills like that. Um, as you'll see, I sit here a lot, or I guess you guys would call it camping because I'm pretty much just looking at that doorway, but, you know, if they're all coming out of that doorway, why not look at it? Um, this, these spot, this spot looking both ways is a great spot to rack up kills, because you can see the underground entrance and you can see that doorway, which the side doorways are very heavily used, and as you'll see, we're losing C here, so I'm kind of worried, I'm looking around. I don't watch my back, but I'm still looking up there because I know they're still spawning in that building. Um, right now I'm playing with a bunch of my friends, mainly, but there's a few randoms in here. 
Actually, this was the last game I played of the day. I was about to be done, and I need, wanted a video up for MW2 Evolution, so I uh, happened to get it in my last gameplay of the day. And as you'll see, I kind of have a nothing really. I just prestige, so I think I'm level 12 or something like that. And I hate all the beginning guns. I love the Scar, though, and that's about it, level 8. And then I'll move on, and I li only like the ACR after that, pretty much. I'll use the TAR. The TAR's pretty good, but it's pretty inaccurate, which pisses me off. And here I die from an airstrike, which I thought I could have survived, but it had the third airstrike on it. I thought it was a Harrier, which would have been happy, because one of my friends likes to sit there and take out air support. So if you're playing with me and you see Garrett in the lobby, um, air support's pretty much worthless to you. I'll take it out in the first ten seconds it's up. Um... So here is where I start to rack up a kill streak, get all the way to my emergency airdrop. Um, you'll see I'm getting mad challenges, and that's also just because I just prestige. There's so much easy challenges to pick up. And uh, most of my gameplays, you'll see me using Silencer and Ninja. But right now, I think I have Steady Aim on. It's because I like to get Steady Aim Pro. It's not a hard challenge to get, and um, it's worth a lot of points. But uh, I like Ninja and just, uh it's called uh, silencers because I got turtle beaches, which turtle beaches are great headsets which allow you to hear pretty much everything around you. And here's another fail predator missile. I don't know what the hell I was doing with the, these, this game. I can usually get a few kills with them, but I'm just epically failing with them. It's kind of whatever though. I managed. It's two kills. You can usually get it. I failed before, but I get it this time. And um, I don't know. I feel that these are the best kill streaks for any person who's having trouble with their KD. If your KD is like nowhere near where you want it to be, throw in these kill streaks. I think that most people can get a five kill streak in at pretty much every game. Um, and then usually, as long as you even say camp a single spot and just to rack up the kill streak if you're having trouble with your KD, because I know feel it feels good to get a like two at least a 2.0 KD during a game. I hate when I don't get a, when I get a bad KD. And when I sit there, even though I camp my ass off, that's just, like, I do sometimes. Because I'm just having a bad day, and, you know, getting a great KD, that just makes me feel better. It's like, oh, <laughs> sweet, I went 41 and 10 on a map. And, um, I don't know, personally, it's just, I don't know, I like going, I like having those positive uh, KDs. My KD in this game isn't amazing. I'm not an amazing player. I'm a pretty good player. I'm improving rapidly. Uh, my KD's gone up from 0.99 to 1.15 since uh, the end of the first prestige. And as you'll see, I got one of my care packages taken by a friend, the other taken by an enemy, which I hate when my care packages get taken by enemies. But the kid manages to spawn and see him come running at me with a knife, and he gets my predator missile. He fails with it though. Oh no, actually, he didn't fail with it. He got a few kills. And here, there's a sentry gun sitting here. I look around, I ask my teammates, nobody speaks up about it, so I take that. Now I got three sentry guns. And um, I'm an idiot right here. Sit there and run into that bomb. Uh, if you ever see a flaming barrel, um, don't run towards it. Very stupid idea. I kind of figured my teammate shot it. I don't know why I figured that. But it was an epic fail. Here you see I set up my sentry guns just patrolling this entire area. And you'll see they just completely rape these kids out of their spawn. They can't even step outside. I sit here and I come into this building again, try and get some kills as they run out, but uh, <laughs> not getting nothing. My sentry gun's destroying them. That's right out of that doorway. Apparently I found a good spot for it. Um, so we're working towards the end of the match. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. There should be a link in the description. Um, watch my other commentaries. Tell me what you think. Give me anything that you can add towards my commentaries. Any help. I'm still looking for it. I only have four commentaries up right now. I think I'm doing a decent job, but... Any help that you guys can offer would be great.